Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing. I've been doing a lot of those lately. And this package is from Charlotte Roos. And um, should I tell you what it is or should I just open it up? Um, I guess I'll just open it up. Maybe that'll be fun. It is kind of the same thing that I've done before in a past video. Okay, so here it is. And I'm really afraid to cut now. Oh, there's like a, like an opening right there. Okay, I'm gonna cut through that. Okay. All right, so here's that and the receipt. And here, can you tell it's velvet? Ready. Oh, let me do this. It's another pink moto jacket. I'm sorry. I know that I've done one of these before, but in my defense, they are very different. The one that I have um, that I've done before is like a faux leather and it's a hot pink and this one is technically it's a lilac color but i feel like it kind of looks pink like even if obviously like what i'm wearing right now and like the background like it kind of it kind of matches it right so i'm gonna call it a pink moto jacket even though it's technically like a lilac lavender color and you can see the lining is purple too like a darker purple Oh man, I'm so excited. And one reason that I wanted to get this is because I found some boots on Dolls Kills website that um, I'm asking for for Christmas and I think that I'm getting it and they would match perfectly with this. Um, so that's one reason I wanted to get it. But the other reason is because I really wanted a moto style jacket that I can wear in the winter. And I know that sounds stupid, but have you guys noticed that with um, moto jackets that they're very cold feeling even like they only warm up as you've been, the longer you've been wearing it, the more it warms up. Um, so I was uh, noticing that I was avoiding wearing some of mine because of they don't really keep me warm. And the velvet in this I felt like would keep me a lot warmer. Oh my goodness. It's so comfortable. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. And like, I kind of feel like this, it's almost like a pink that will like, I know I said it's lilac, but it's like a pink that will go with my hair kind of because it is purple. You know what I mean? Like it's like making purple a pink color. I don't know. I'm like, I know I talk about that so much, but that's like what this channel is gonna be a lot of because it's my favorite color and I love it. Okay, I am so excited and I really want to see what this looks like in the mirror, but I'm kind of using the viewfinder right now. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm totally like using my thigh muscles because this is a rocking love seat and it's moving, so I'm trying to hold myself up. Oh, it's so cute. And it's got the zipper things right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it is like it's definitely warmer. It's still going to be somewhat cold compared to like my pink sweatshirt thing because the inside is that like um really smooth like satiny type of fabric and that just tends to not hold in heat or in my opinion it doesn't. And it was really ex inexpensive. Um it was on sale and I can tell you the price right now. It was $30. And I can't remember what it was originally, but I believe this was on sale. Um, I can link this jacket, but I don't want to guarantee that it's still going to be on their website because they're probably like um, trying to get rid of them, I'm assuming, <laughs> based off of the price and everything. I kind of want to show you guys something else, um, but I don't know if I should do that in this video or another video. I guess I'll show a little bit of it right now. This is something that I just got tonight from a store and it's called the Garage Sale Warehouse or something like that. And it's basically a bunch of people have their own shops set up like throughout the store. And you can find a lot of really cool vintage stuff and just anything. It's, it, I mean, it's basically like a, a garage sale, but for a bunch of different people. 
and this is what I found and it was $25 and it's like a um, I think it, it yeah it's porcelain it's a porcelain doll and she's got on a gorgeous light pink dress with lace and roses and she's on a carousel oh my goodness like ah, I really really loved this when I saw it there's the horse um, and then her shoes unfortunately are not on I'm gonna have to glue this bow back onto the shoe and everything and um, I don't know if you can tell let me zoom out there we go I don't know if you can tell but it's completely not centered for some reason the bottom of this is um do you see how that's sticking out it's causing it to like not stand up straight so i don't know what i can do about that oh. as you can see she's <laughs> not very well balanced but this she does um come off of the carousel horse like they're like two different pieces that go together but it was just it was so pretty and it was one of those things that i was like telling my husband i was like i feel like if i don't get this right now that I'm gonna regret it if I try to get it later and I come back and it's gone so I was like let me just get it and yeah <laughs> I don't know I feel like I've been getting so much stuff lately this is another thing that I got and um isn't it cute it's a little Winnie the Pooh picture frame and I love it it reminded me of um, Pixie Locks's style which she calls party K and it's just, I mean, I love all the colors and everything, and it's 3D, which is so cool. And I think I might take my wedding picture and put it in this, because I feel like I don't, we got this as a gift, and it is really cool, but I just feel like it's industrial looking, it's cold, it's not warm and homey looking at all. And even though this is a birthday party thing, clearly, I feel like it's celebrating stuff and you do have a cake and presents at your wedding so i mean i can put a picture of us in there maybe right hopefully this was fun to watch and i will see you guys in another video bye